This cathedral, which was used in this clip from Spider-Man. Oh, Spider-Man, you scamp. Uh, here are some stills from Marvel's Daredevil using the rooftop garden of St. Patrick's Cathedral. I'm sorry. Uh, and here is uh, the beginning of Rockefeller Plaza. Right there is this building right here in the center. You'll all get to see in just a second past this palm tree. That is 30 Rock, the famous 30 Rockefeller Plaza, which the TV show 30 Rock was named after. Anyone a uh, fan of 30 Rock? I'm a huge fan of 30 Rock. I miss that show so much. Shot entirely in New York City, thank goodness. Uh, and uh, so many things still shoot there. Saturday Night Live has been shooting there for 40 years, and it still shoots in there on Studio 8H. Uh, the Today Show, NBC Nightly News, this is the headquarters of uh, NBC uh, Television in New York City. So we'll, we'll see a lot of clips using that. Oh, we have some new uh, vegetation out here today. It's looking very jungle-like. Uh, I also want to point out Saks Fifth Avenue. We are on Fifth Avenue, guys. This is the shopping capital of New York City city right here so spend your money on fifth avenue but Saks fifth avenue one of the oldest and most famous department stores on fifth avenue it's where uh, and joey had a job there from friends he, he sold perfume there right Do you, remembering that he uh he had a rivalry with another perfume salesman in this clip we're going to see right here bijan for men bijan for men John from Ann. Hey, Annabelle. Hey, Joey. Did you hear about the new guy? Who? Nobody knows his name. Me and the girls just call him the Ombre Man. Ombre. And here's a scene from the great show 30 Rock with Tina Fey buying hot dogs right outside Rockefeller Plaza. Whoa, excuse me. There's a line, buddy. There's two lines. No, no, there's one line. We're in it. I'm just getting a hot dog. We're all getting hot dogs. Wait, what, you think there's two lines and we're all in this line? You're the only genius that got in the other line? Can you believe this one? Don't line up behind him. He cheated you. Hey, shut up. What do you want to do today? Has anyone encountered a New Yorker like that yet? Or, yes, you have. I want to hear the story. Uh, yeah, if you have someone who shoved you uh, off the subway or wouldn't let you get on the subway or cut the line or... If you haven't experienced it yet, just, uh, you know, give it five minutes. It will happen. Rude New Yorkers. Okay, I want to show you one more clip using 30 Rock. Uh, it's famous for uh, the big, big, big true. Christmas tree that uh, is put there every Christmas time. doesn't look like she forgives him. Here's a scene from Will and Grace. This was shot right here for the Today Show with Al Roker. It's supposed to be a kiss, and there wasn't. Well, you know, Jack, sometimes a kiss is just not a kiss. We have an anniversary. Oh, 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 back to Jack. Uh, we went to complain, and this closet case upstairs, cute in an offbeat way, got his number, totally gave us the brush off. And I just want to know how long I'm going to have to wait until I can see two gay men kiss on network television. Not as long as you think. <laughs> Indeed, Will and Grace, another show that, that was a scene that did shoot here in New York City, but unfortunately that show was 99% filmed in Los Angeles, Hollywood, California. Uh, much like Friends, much like um, How I Met Your Mother, uh, and the list goes on. Unfortunately, in those days, the 90s and early 2000s, it just wasn't happening here in New York as much as it is now. I think uh, the door was opened a lot by Sex and the City and uh, The Sopranos, and, uh, and then it just sort of started building from there. Um, thank goodness for shows like Gossip Girl and 30 Rock that also kicked it up a notch for us New York actors. Uh, so now I want to uh, point out another very famous building coming up in just a couple of minutes, the main branch.